Life is full of highs and lows. They call it a normal cycle of life. Or we can go through happy and joyful feelings one day and for some reason feel sad a week later. It's a funny cycle. When we are happy and hopeful, we don't want to see any negative thing in our life. And when we are feeling low, we just want to cry ourselves and disregard the positive things we also have. Chaos is the term to describe my life lately. Your 22 years old self-improvement YouTuber who's been hustling and sharing his story for the last past month on his channel to try and motivate people to do more in their life had to take the first biggest decision of his short life. For some reason, I've always felt a part of my generation. Everyone at my age just wants to go party, to get shit-faced from alcohol, go out dancing, clubbing, and yet here I am, part of a small group of people who just wants to become better, to hustle on their project, and to thrive through their small successes that we're getting from our own sweat. Simply to be able to enjoy life in a couple of years. When you feel that way, it's hard to feel at home anywhere you go. It's hard to feel at home with someone, it's hard to make real friends, and everything seems hard. We aren't told how to take a decision. An important one at least. I have been reading and reading thousands of words when it comes to responsibilities and self-improvement and assuming the consequences of your own words and action, but there isn't such a thing as to actually going through real life decision taking moments. I've been sharing my life for over three years now with someone and I've had amazing moments, that's true. However, I ended up losing myself into this relationship and to only be happy from making someone else happy. And this, my friend, is not possible. It's very important to be your own source of happiness. For me, at least, because you never know how long people are gonna stay in your life. You never know when they will go, and while maybe they will forever stay by your side, in case they don't, you have to feel okay with yourself. Happy, proud, and in touch with who you are. Taking the decision to end a relationship when everything seems to be going on well, when you take the decision because of your own feelings, because you are lacking a feeling of importance, or a feeling that you're someone special in the life of another, is really hard. You try to convince yourself at first that your feelings are wrong and that you're the bad person and then you try to put these feelings aside without wanting to acknowledge that they are actually here. Now maybe that's just a me thing and uh, you people are gonna find this boring or not joyful but I find peace and discipline in a world life where I can control every single thing that is happening and lately my life is a pure definition of chaos. As I had to find an apartment for the next two months because I'm almost graduating and I needed to finish university in good conditions, I had to move all my stuff. I had to start over, creating a new little comfort zone, as comfortable as it can get, finding my own berries in this new life, finding and applying the same or similar routines, and all of this creates a mess in my thoughts that I haven't felt in a while. I know that right now it is the perfect moment to show what real discipline is to myself. I've been talking on my YouTube channel about discipline and habits and the power of all of this for over a year now, but I can honestly tell you that discipline is so easy when you are doing okay in your life, yet so hard. So, so hard when you're feeling low. I'm someone who needs to see long-term. Months, years have to be planned ahead in my brain, and maybe it won't be this way in the future, and that's totally fine, but for now I guess it's comforting to me to know where I'm going. Lately, I cannot put any words on the next four, five, six months of my life. Well, I will be a vet for sure, but where will I be working? Where will I be living? Will I have to come back to living at my parents for a couple of months? Or will I just quit everything and start traveling the globe and working wherever I will end up? I have no answers to this. And this seriously messes up with my thoughts. Now, I'm not making this video to get pity from anyone here. I'm just making this video to share my story and my point of view when it comes to big life decisions. Breaking up with someone after three and a half years isn't an easy thing. And you probably have to take an important decision in your life right now, and if not, you will for sure have to do so in the future. And regardless of whether it is to break up with your partner, quit your job, or move to a new country, or start a new life, or whatever it could be, I find the same pattern when it comes to big life decisions. I would say that you basically have two options in your life. When something starts to not feel right anymore, when something starts to be in your mind but not in a positive nor source of happiness way, then you seriously need to start sitting down and having the bigger picture in your mind. Your first option is probably what most people would choose and it's to just be passive. To keep your suffering for yourself or keep torturing your brain in silence and trying to convince yourself that your feelings and thoughts are wrong that you are the bad person and that you are just an unsatisfied little human. This option will lead you to dig your thoughts down and to keep going in this life that doesn't suit you anymore. And if it is something that you have been going through for the last days, weeks or month, well, I have to say that I understand fully. Whether it is that you need to 
break up with your partner, stop talking to your best friend or moving to this new place that you had in mind. All of those big life decisions means one thing. It means discomfort. It means a complete change in your life. In my own case, it means loneliness because you come from a life where you spend all of your time with someone, most of your activities are shared, you text, you call, you think for two, and it also means discomfort because you need to face your responsibilities on your own. You need to move out of what you've been calling home for the last years and you need to find a new place, move all your stuff and try to start a new life on your own. All of those are valid reasons why most people would never take that very important life decisions of theirs and it's a fair thing to do. No one likes discomfort. I mean, I've been sharing on my YouTube channel my constant quest for seeking discomfort, cold showering, I'm forcing myself to read, forcing myself to create content even if I didn't feel like it and I felt lazy. But here we're talking about a different type of discomfort. You're not gonna have any more footsteps of your own, you're not gonna have any more safety net to lay back on and you're gonna have to basically start 80-90% of your own life from zero. And your other option, well, is very simple. You just have to take that big life decision and be ready to spend the next weeks, month with feelings of loneliness, sadness, probably stress and a bunch of negative feelings to then start living the life you've been dreaming of, to start doing what you want on your own, start to achieve things and to follow your own path and to create your own journey without any limits and without anyone in your way. Because it's very important to remember that you have one life and you're the main character of it. And no one, no one should ever take this away from you. Something that I have learned um, with all of this happening is that regardless of the reason of your breakup or quitting your job, be a real human, be respectful, be there for one another if they really need you to be there. Stay polite, stay calm. And while having a conversation, don't get overwhelmed by your feelings. Remain calm and stoic. It will first make you grow as a person and will also allow you not to have any regrets when you will look back to this in the future. Remember that you've probably been spending hours and hours with this person or hours working for your boss and having a great time most of the time. So there is no other way than remaining respectful and caring towards those people. What I also realized lately, as I felt quite lonely and down, is that most people you considered as friends are not the one gonna be there for you. And those that you did not expect to be by your sides are the ones who are gonna support you help you and be there for you. Now, even if you right now don't have to take any very important life decision that are probably gonna change your life, I think I would still advise you to just sit down and think about who your real friends are, who would be there for you once you really need it, and not who would just call you because they wanna go out and have a beer. I have been very surprised by all of this lately, and I'm quite happy to realize all of this now, so that I can sort through other people who would usually be around me. You have an immense value. You have talents, you have amazing qualities, and I'm sure you are doing great things in your life. And most of all, you're valuable. And if someone is not supporting you for whatever you might be doing in your life or want to achieve, and then these people should leave your life. I probably have a very biased vision of friendship. And my vision is very strict and I'm very loyal when it comes to these things, but this is my vision. I'd rather be surrounded by very few people who would just be there whenever I need them, who I can just call and they would provide their help however they can. People who would support me in my own life projects just the same way I would support theirs, than be surrounded by dozens of friends who would just show up for a drink and nothing else. Now, another thing that I would like to talk about in this very hard directed video um, is my absence on YouTube and of course my future plans for the channel. I wasn't ready for how hard things would be to be honest and how chaotic my life would become. Which is probably why I got knocked out that hard and didn't post any videos on the channel. I've said it before, but discipline is very easy when everything is going well in your life. However, it is really hard, really hard when you're feeling low. Now this is a bit of excuses. I have nothing to say besides that I failed. Failed at my discipline failed at my uploading schedule and my thrive to be better, but I managed to get a great lesson out of this. I don't believe in motivation and everyone on this channel or the very few people who are part of my close circle of relationship know this. I believe in goals and a system to bring me to my dream life and all of this needs to be backed up by a flawless discipline. For the last past weeks, I just didn't feel like waking up that early. The cold showers were shorter than usual or non-existent. 
no more reading. I didn't journal for probably over two weeks now. So it's time to change everything. And to show you how powerful and this cold showering thing is to me and this taping my mouth at night is, as I quit because of this lack of discipline that I had, probably three or four days later, I got sick. I got a sore throat. And this is something that I haven't had for a month because of my very um, flawless discipline. The second I stop, I get sick. And this is how powerful things are. An important person of my life kept on repeating me something that really resonates in my head right now. It is that whenever discipline is hard and the thoughts are completely messed up, it's just all about small achievements and small steps to climb up the ladder of success. I'm entering what I decided to call ghost mode. I'm gonna spend the next two months working every single day on my business, my videos. I'm also gonna spend my days working for my thesis at university since I'm graduating in two months. Ghost mode will also mean a cascade of habits during the day. Basic ones, such as cold exposure, breath work, meditation, journaling, reading, simple habits, but habits that I believe represent more than 50% of a success story. I would love to see any of you watching this video right now who needs to change things in its life to get back on track and who needs to go through important life decision, who is feeling low to follow me into this ghost mode month. I'll probably make a post on Instagram and be more specific about this or on my community part on my YouTube channel so that you guys can see whether you're willing to explore the best version of yourself or not yet. Lately, I also went through a big step up in my life. Maybe some of you saw this on my community part on YouTube or on my Instagram story, but I got my first tattoo. I really wanted something meaningful. And of course, the more I progressed in my YouTube journey, the more I had it clear in my mind. I wanted something that I would look at every single day and feel inspired by it. Something that would drive my thoughts for the rest of my life. And I think that what was happening lately in my life was the perfect moment to emphasize this quote that I live by, trust the process. I think my self-improvement journey is just getting started right now and if I had the impression that I was giving the, a great image of myself and that I was pushing myself to become the best version I could be um, for the last past month or years, I realize now that I had it all wrong and that it is nothing compared to what's coming. My thrive to be part of the 1%, to be part of this small community where people are in a constant quest to become better has never been that important. I know where my place is and I know what it will take to get me there. I didn't really get to say thank you nor to show my appreciation for the immense support that you guys are giving me um, lately. All the comments on my videos, the kind words, the love, the support, the motivational comments are insanely powerful and meaningful to me. So thank you very much and I'm forever grateful for this. It feels great to build a community, but I don't know, it doesn't feel as great as seeing what is happening here with this channel, it feels special. It feels like I'm bringing everyone with me to the top and that we are all going to step-by-step step discover our full potential. And this is an amazing feeling. The next videos are gonna deal with my progress into this ghost mode. It's gonna be probably a lot of productivity related videos, new routines, etc. because I really seriously am building a new life right now. And I've been reading a lot of books that completely shifted my mindset and visions of things in life. So that would be a possibility as well to share them here on the channel. I know that this video right now you've watched was not as entertaining as the previous ones. Um, my videos cannot always be happy and joyful and motivating, even though I hope this video you found some motivation in it. It is my self-improvement journey and this means going through more or less difficult moments and this right now was one of the difficult ones, I guess, but I'm growing out of it and I'm slowly getting closer to become the best version of myself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, I'll meet you in the next one and I promise you will not have to wait that long. Bye-bye. Back to it was hard.